Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're talking about a very simple task. Uh, pe people click on apps on their desktops and they wonder why apps tend not to open full screen and that happens quite often and people just don't understand why the uh, apps aren't opening up full screen. For example, they click Internet Explorer to go on the web and they say, why do I have to maximize so it's going to get full screen? It's very simple. One of the things that happens with Windows is that it remembers the last state of a window or an app. So if you were, for example, small like this, and the last window you closed was a small window, then it's going to remember that next time well I'll open exactly as I was before a small window now let's try this same trick but put it maximized full screen and close it down now Windows will remember that the next time you click the app is going to be full screen so this is with Internet Explorer for example but it works with pretty much all types of apps so for example if I start Word of Word 2010 here and if I minimize it for a smaller screen so you have your word processor working in a smaller screen that's not full screen and I close it down next time I'll turn on Word guess what Word will open exactly as it was before so it's pretty much all the apps that have this feature it's the way Windows works. It remembers how the window was before you closed the application. So remember, if you don't want to have to do full screen all the time, make it full screen if it's not, and then close your app. And you'll see that all the apps now that you've done that will be full screen. Now, one thing that might happen, because it does happen, sometimes people put um, shortcuts on their desktop and they say, well, they don't open full screen. That is one thing about shortcuts on your desktop. Um, they pretty much work in their own little way. And so uh, it can happen that shortcuts will not bring full screen, uh, for example, if you uh, put a shortcut of a website on your the desktop so it's easy to go to like uh, your uh, mail uh, there are possi possibilities that it might not be full screen it usually works in a way that if your app was not full screen when you did the uh, shortcut you might have actually uh, set a shortcut that will always open in a smaller window so you can recreate the shortcut while you're in full screen so that it uh, will make it full screen if possible but keep in mind some shortcuts and some apps have a mind of their own so this trick works on a lot of things but it's not going to work on a hundred percent of all the applications some applications just open in a small window naturally and they are not dependent on how they were closed the last time so uh, easy to do just remember to have full screen before you close an app because if it if it's not you'll uh, basically have your app open exactly in the same size that it was closed when you stopped if you enjoy our videos please uh, subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like our videos so that uh, everybody knows that you enjoy watching our videos if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a uh, feature or an app that you'd like us to talk about in Windows 8, let us know. We'll try to um, put that video online. We'll be helping you and you'll be helping others at the same time. So thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.